All right, on the Presumption of Atheism project, this video goes to Way of the Bastard, a positive atheist, and the three theists, Veritas, 48, Dawa Films, and Telemontros. Way of the Bastard, I, uh, I watched your video. Uh, yes, I am a positive atheist, and this is why. Uh, the argument looked innocuous on the surface. It had a couple of uh, premises in there about the... Uh, the, uh, the, an attribute of God, God's perfect love, and then one that looked really innocuous at first, um, uh, that non-resistant non-belief exists. And you use this to uh, prove the strong, the strong atheist case. Then it occurred to me that these people who are non-resistant non-believers actually are a subset of the negative atheists. So what you've done is you have used us negative atheists as a foil to prove your case for strong atheism. You have sacrificed your negative atheist brethren to, to try to deal a mortal thrust at the theists. I mean, here the theists try to convince us to abandon negative atheism and to join the strong atheist camp where, where you reside. No, we stay loyal, we stay put, we're atheists. And then you turn around with treachery, treachery, and sacrifice us on the altar of truth. Just the altar of truth to the non-theists. Oh, you way of the bastard, you. Now, theists. Theists. You have to destroy this argument. You are now in a position, you have to save negative atheism in order to preserve theism. Duh. I will help you. We are, after all, now allies, aren't we? Listen, the way I've got this figured out, there's two main weaknesses where we can attack that argument, okay? One, it's it's, you know, the damage is contained. It's based on one purported attribute of God, God's perfect love. Now, we could sacrifice that, right? You could sacrifice that. That's, what's that, right? God's perfect love. That's minor, right? Okay. The other thing it's based on is this non-resistant non-belief. Okay, now, these people are just a, these people are just a, a, a subgroup of negative atheists. Maybe we can exclude them and salvage negative atheism and therefore salvage theism. What we'll do, I figure, is we will convince them that they should abandon their negative atheism and adopt strong atheism. That way they will no longer be in the in the negative atheist group and at the same time we get the satisfaction of pulling the rug out from way of the bastards argument and from he himself huh what do you think we'll just convince them to abandon negative atheism and adopt strong atheism um wait a minute wasn't that how this whole problem began very toss